teammate helping her, Hawkeye quarterback Ricky Stanzi. As he inspires Jenna. This one's uh, as a football player at the Hawkeye. Tony, Jeff. Jenna Waters is a four-year-old you can't forget. She knows more than she should about Hawkeye football. She makes you laugh because she says exactly what she's thinking. Why are you putting it so close to me? But what's most memorable is how someone this small finds the strength to fight a serious illness. She's very feisty. She has a lot of attitude. <laughs> Even cancer can't keep Jenna from having fun with her older brother Bryce and twin sister Caitlin. If she had hair, you wouldn't know she was sick. And that's good. I mean, that kept her spirits. Eleven months ago, Jenna was diagnosed with a rare form of liver cancer called embryonal heptoblastoma. When they drew the picture and said that, you know, here's what her liver looks like, that was quite shocking. What's that stuff running? What's underneath the brown bag? Um, it's chemo. We just know what stage 4 cancer means, and I didn't ask for a prognosis. Christina and Jared knew their daughter would have to fight for her life. She was weighing like 16 pounds at year, at four years of, you know, old, and just skin and bones and nothing to her. You get the gingerbread man. Yes. Family and friends are always in and out of Jenna's hospital rooms. Uh-oh. But none of her visitors compared to a few strangers she met last spring at the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics. That was the first time she smiled all day was when those five walked into the room. Tony, AJ. The Iowa football players instantly Ricky won over Stanley. Jenna's heart. Thank you, Stanley. <laughs> That's when Hawkeye football became just as important as princesses and the color pink to Jenna. It was just amazing. It's like she knew who they were, and she was very excited. Many hospital visits later, Jenna still has her favorite football team close by her side. AJ. She's never without her Hawkeye pillowcase or her autographed Iowa football. Football. <laughs> Jenna's hospital visits are full of Hawkeye spirit, especially since UIHC is right across the street from Kinnick Stadium, where Jenna's beloved Hawkeyes play their home football games. She's probably our uh, our favorite fan. You know, we we uh, we love the support that she has for us and um, how much she looks up to the team. Jenna keeps in touch with her football players but she has a particular fondness for Iowa's starting quarterback. Yeah, she, she likes her Ricky, that's for sure. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. Ricky Stanzi talks with Jenna and her family almost daily, and he gets a text picture of Jenna in her Hawkeye gear before every game. He's become more than just a football player and, a, you know, we're more than just a fan and he's just been kind of part of our family. Ricky is the reason Jenna often wears this Batman shirt. And why do you like Batman? Because Ricky does. And Ricky always wears something that reminds him of Jenna, even on the football field. Jenna's mom made him and they say pray for uh, Princess Jenna. Ricky sports three of Jenna's pink bracelets and he never takes them off. He likes to wear his pink bracelet, it brings him uh, some pink power. <laughs> to a player so devoted to black and gold, Ricky gets inspiration from the color pink. We can learn a lot from a girl who's only four years old because of the things that she does in her own life and the way that um, you know she puts up a fight. And four. Jenna has fought through 13 rounds of chemotherapy, a few surgeries, and a liver transplant. Yeah, I'm going, Nita. She's gone from stage four cancer to taking baby steps back to her normal routine. That's how come she's fought and won because she has this feisty attitude that she's never going to give up. Jenna's feisty attitude is something her Hawkeye football players don't forget. In Iowa City, Claire Kellett, KCRG TV9 News. Well, Jenna has to have a few more tests and a CAT scan before doctors can officially say she's in remission. The Waters family hopes that happens by January 16th, the one-year anniversary of when Jenna was diagnosed with cancer. The top nine of 09 sports looks back at the best of the Hawkeyes' amazing season and preventing H1N1 for everyone. Details of a vaccine clinic setting up shop tomorrow. But first, here's a look at the most viewed stories today.